and welcome back to In The Works. Today I got something special for you. I'm gonna start working on my Blade Show project. It's gonna be a leaf bladed short sword. It's gonna be made out of mosaic Damascus. I'm gonna turn this 15 and 20 and 80 CRV billet into a sword blade. Now, one of the really cool things about this is that I haven't even got really to use our new In Yang Power Hammer, so this will be my first project on that. So I'll be getting to know the hammer as I work. Another thing I want to mention is even though we're not doing very much grinding today other than prepping our surfaces for forge weld, this episode is brought to you by Red Label Braces. If you guys are in need of sanding belts, make sure you check out Red Label. They are the absolute best and a pleasure to work with. So let's go inside, heat our build up, and start the forge weld. Forge welding is all done at this point. I'm just drawing out the material so I can cut it into four equal sections and do a restack and another weld. Now I'm not the only one who's working on my blade show project today. Billy is as well. The only difference is he's been already working on his for about two weeks. And if you follow him on Instagram at Slavic Smith, you've seen this beautiful teaser pic of the main central billet that he's working on. All he has to do now is cut them up into little pieces and prep them for welding.
before my billet is drawn out completely to length, I'm going to start hammering on the 45 degree angles, or the corners. This will start rounding over my billet, then I'll move to hammering on the sides, gently squeezing it as I go, trying to avoid ever going back to hammering on the top and bottom, so that I actually crush my layers into a U or a modified W shaped pattern. Alright, I'm waiting for my billet to cool down. I'll then sand the surfaces, cut them into pieces, and do a restack. I'm gonna bring back an old friend. You guys have all been asking about the Scalchen a whole lot, or the Falgrim as Ilya likes to call it. I'm at the stage where I just have to do a little bit more hand sanding to it. Then we can antique the blade, antique the fittings, get that thing packed up and shipped off to Scalgrim. So let's go inside and do a little bit of hand sanding. So throughout the course of the day, we've been noticing the hammer needed a little bit of adjusting. So we adjusted the actual valving inside the hammer and it runs a lot better, hits a lot harder. So we're actually gonna heat up a piece and uh, try something new out to test the power of the hammer.
<laughs> so a lot of the ways that I work when I'm forging is I practice different techniques along the way. Whether I'm building a freeform sculpture or an actual utilitarian piece, I'll practice different techniques as far as hot cutting, scroll work, riveting, uh, some chisel work, and I kind of just incorporate all those different techniques into the piece that I'm working on, and I let the steel kind of flow and do its own thing as I'm forging it. I don't really have a full 100% idea of what I want to accomplish, and uh, usually the end result ends up pretty good. Usually. Usually. The very last thing Ilya has to do before he can weld up his sword billet is he has to draw out the two bars that will go on either side of his central tiles. After weeks of work, it's now time for one of the most exciting moments as a smith, and that's getting to see your final billet that will become your sword blade start coming together. Ilya will start by putting small tack welds in each one of his tiles to make sure that they don't move around. He'll then be able to flip the whole thing and do final welds on the other side. Because the billet that Ilya is attempting to forge weld all at once is so long and so big, he's elected to go with putting covers on either side, creating almost a canister. So he'll put on two pieces of sacrificial sheet metal that will later just come off during the forging process to hopefully help keep all the oxygen out as he gets his entire billet, the full length of this, welded at once. One missed blow, one moment of not paying attention, and weeks of work can be thrown out the door. Notice everybody's working together during this moment, but nobody's really talking because the stress levels can be quite high. Eh, no biggie, it worked. The little piece that you see hanging there is just the sacrificial sheet metal that he tacked on the surfaces. His welds look great, now it's time to true everything up, get them nice and parallel, because this actually isn't the final stage of his sword. The final thing that he has to do is put another billet as an edge wrap that goes around the entire core that he just welded.
All right, I feel really good about this. I got my first two forge welds done. It's now four layers of kind of my modified crushed W's. At this point, I'll cut it four more times, restack it, see how I feel about the layer count. I might do it one more time. Um, not really going for anything traditional. Not only is it a modified crushed W's, but the way I'm gonna ladder it in the final piece is gonna be pretty crazy as well. We're not gonna do straight ladders. We're gonna carve all in it. And then when I forge the bevels, uh, the pattern will be in there. So feel really good about it. Everybody's made a lot of progress on their projects today. We're gonna to cut the video here. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time where we make even more projects. Be awesome. Thanks. Thanks for watching this episode of In The Works. Don't forget, let us know in the comments below what major projects you want to see us tackle next because we got more to come. But we want to know what you want us to build. Let us know.